Hey guys, welcome to Offshoot Comics Off Topic. We're your host, Kirby Kidd. And Black Superman. Also known as David Clark. And Walter Bryant. And today we're talking about the picture of Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. Hopefully it is on the screen or on the somewhere. It should be, you should be seeing it somehow right now, hopefully. Now, one of the first things that you'll notice is, uh, actually she looks pretty impressive as Wonder Woman. Which, uh, uh, like, let's face it, if you saw Fast 5 and 6, Mm -hmm. She didn't look that impressive, and I was like, you know, I don't understand how in the heck you could think this could possibly be Wonder Woman. I stand corrected. Yeah, I mean, she she pulled it off. Uh, the costume was good, and and you know, I was at first I was surprised that it wasn't you know red, white, and blue, and yellow, and all that stuff. But um, it doesn't really make sense for it to be that because Amazons don't wear those colors. Yeah, they and I mean, wear that armor. And in even even in like the comic books, they tell you that this is body armor she's wearing. Body armor isn't going to be bright red and or blue. a swimsuit. Yeah, it's not. It's just not. <laughs> um, so yeah, like you know that that was a good call on, on, yeah, on that on that move, making it more more realistic. Um, so I mean, I, I'm glad there's no pants involved. Oh uh, yeah, because definitely. outside of it not being attractive, Greeks don't wear pants. <laughs> so you know, I know feminists like like her to wear pants, but uh, it. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. She doesn't come from a lot of people wear pants. Yeah, exactly. Men or women. They all wear the same little skirt thing. And she's (laughs) standing there holding her sword. Yeah. Um, I mean, really, honestly, it's a a really good translation of the Wonder Woman armor. It looks like... She looks like Wonder Woman. Yeah. Like, there's there's no going, okay, maybe I can figure out that that's Wonder Woman. No, no. If you look at this picture and didn't know that that was a picture of Wonder Woman, you'd know that was a picture of Wonder Woman. Yeah. And... Now I'm just hoping that they get her powers right. You know, I'm hoping that you know she she can fly and have super strength and is invulnerable. I just don't want her to be like a good fighter. Yeah. You know, because mm-hmm. remember that there's still that possibility. There is. She and might just that be a would good suck. fighter with items. That would that would yeah. suck though. That's that's Batman. You got You can't just you can't just go and make Superman and Batman and Batwoman. This is supposed to be you, Wonder Woman. This is Warner Brothers. This is Warner Brothers. <sighs> I have faith in you, Warner Brothers. Do you? I really don't. Exactly. I have faith in you, Warner Brothers. Deadpool was Green Lantern. I have faith... The guy with the in, giant head. Guy with the giant head from Green Lantern. Zack Snyder loves this these characters. I have faith in Zack Snyder. Oh, is that the guy who didn't uh, write in Neil before Zod? Was it that guy? He didn't write the script. That's not his fault. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, so he doesn't have any power over it? No, he does. He, he could have. He, he could have. He could have made him say Neil before. Was that also the same guy who said, "Hey, you know what would be cool is if Superman kills this guy." You know what? In a dream sequence, when Superman is freaking out over the fact he had to kill someone, Zod should actually say Neil before Zod. You should get him to do a cameo Pay him in a million. dream. Pay him his millions just for to that. say Neil before Zod in a dream. Make up for your mistake. Point is, Gal Gadot looks wonderful. She does. <laughs> um, she does. And uh, we are. We are now. Our our fears. Have been alleviated. alleviated. So, and, and and while we're at it, I, I hate to say it, but don't ben say Affleck, it. Don't do it. Don't ben do Affleck, it. He's do- no, he's doing it. Ben Affleck's mask and face as Batman look right. But see, here's a problem though. Like inside of that is it's ben, ben Affleck. Affleck. So <sighs> we still have an issue, and I still clearly remember Daredevil. I just I need to hear that. I need to hear his Batman voice. I'm Batman. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> I am the knight. <laughs> it worked for Darkwing Duck. That he well, he's a duck. He's a duck. But he's Batman Duck though. But he's still a duck. This is Batman. This is the Dark Knight here. This is one half of the world's finest. I believe in Zack Snyder. Do you? I really don't. You don't. You shouldn't. Um, but yeah. So we're happy about that, and uh, hopefully, hopefully it ends up working out well. So far, two of the cast are okay. And it's com- comes out next year or. 2016. You know they keep they keep saying 2016, but then someone said that it might be next year. They may be just, they may be just um, they need to. It needs to come out to challenge the Avengers. It needs to come out just because. Let's face it. There's not a reason to wait another year. What what would be your reason for that? And most people are going to forget about it. But you know what they won't forget about Avengers two, Age of Ultron. <laughs> Yeah, which, Marvel sticks to its timelines. Yeah, which speaking of that, Age of Ultron apparently is going to have like four women characters um, that are supposed to be massively important here. So, okay, we know Black Widow. Right, um, Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch. And it looks like perhaps Carol Danvers... 
as what though? Because if if she's Captain Marvel, I will stab three people from from Marvel in the face. Hopefully, as Ms. Marvel, because I that love, would be awesome. I love Ms. Marvel's uh, uniform, the one she had before the current stupid one. Yeah, that would that would that boots. would be awesome. Yes, that so. needs to happen. Um, I mean, it doesn't make sense that a Air Force pilot would uh, would wear that, but I don't care. I do not care. And then some Asian chick that we don't know anything about, other than she's Asian. she might be um, uh, what is her name? Wasp. She could be. She's not Psylocke, that's for sure. No. Because she can't be. Yeah, because she's an X-Men character. Yeah. But it'd be, it'd be great if she was Wasp because you can't have Ant-Man come in without Wasp. But Ant-Man's not going to be in the movie. No, but you could have you could have Wasp be, like, you could have her be here and then like just have her as a character and then, and with then Wasp, you know, like, the movie do something out, or yeah. something or, you know, something. But you can't just, you know, it's, and, and they, they, they're talking about having Maria Hill be a major character. It's like, she's not a major character. She's only the thorn in the side of heroes. Yeah. She's like the opposite so. of Big Fury. <laughs> But yeah, so that is uh, Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. And obviously we went off topic because that's, that's what we, what we do. do. Um, but until next time, we've been your host, Kirby Kid. And Black Superman. See you later, guys.